As the ship moves through waters of different densities, her draft will change accordingly. When sailing from salt water to fresh water, a sinkage occurs, causing the ship's drafts to increase. On the other hand, sailing from fresh water to salt water, the ship will rise, resulting in a decrease in her draft. A ship's draft is the vertical distance between the waterline and the keel. The density of a substance or liquid is its mass per unit volume. In ship stability, the unit commonly used for mass is tons, for volume, cubic meters, and for density, tons per cubic meter. The ships always float in water that has a density between saltwater to freshwater. The saltwater density is 1,025 kg per cubic meter or 1.025 tons per cubic meter. For freshwater, the density is 1,000 kg per cubic meter or 1.0 ton per cubic meter. Those water densities that lie between these two extremes are called dock water. We often encountered the word relative density, abbreviated RD. This is the ratio of the density of the substance or liquid in question to that of the freshwater. So any liquid divided by the density of the freshwater which is 1.0 ton per cubic meter or 1000 kilograms per cubic meter will be the relative density of a substance. By cancelling both units, relative density has no unit. So the relative density of salt water is 1.025, for fresh water, 1.0, and for dock water, it ranges from 1.024 to 1.001. How are we going to determine the change in the ship's draft when she sails from salt water to fresh water or vice versa? Let us take a look at the ship's load line mark. The load line mark is located amidships on both sides of the ship and is used to determine the maximum depth to which the vessel may be safely immersed when loaded with cargo. TF stands for tropical fresh, F for fresh, T for tropical, S for summer, W for winter, and below the winter load line mark is the winter North Atlantic which is applicable for small vessels of less than 100 meters in length. Let's say the ship is floating in salt water in her summer load displacement. It means that the waterline is on the upper edge of the S load line mark. When the ship arrives in fresh water, the waterline will be on the upper edge of the F load line mark, disregarding the change in draft due to fuel and water consumptions, and other consumables. It shows that when the ship moves from water of higher density to water with lower density, the ship will sink, resulting in an increase in the ship's draft. On another hand, when she floating in fresh water where the waterline is on the upper edge of the F load line mark, when she arrives in salt water, the waterline is on the upper edge of the S load line mark. It shows that when the ship moves from water of lower density to water with higher density, the ship will rise, resulting in a decrease in the ship's draft. The change in the ship's draft from salt water to fresh water or vice versa is called fresh water allowance. Fresh water allowance is the number of millimeters in which the ship's mean draft changes when she passes from salt water to fresh water or from fresh water to salt water when she is loaded to its summer displacement. There are two methods how to determine the fresh water allowance. The first method is by calculating it mathematically using this formula. Where FWA is the freshwater allowance in millimeters. Displacement is the ship's summer displacement when she is floating in her summer load draft. TPC is the TPC in saltwater. And 4 will be a constant value. The derivation of this formula is not included in this video. The second method is by extracting it from the ship's stability manual. This is an example of freshwater allowance that can be found in the stability booklet. When the waterline is on the top of the S load line mark and the ship is in salt water, when she arrives in fresh water, the waterline is on the top of the F load line mark. The change in the ship's draft when she sails from salt water to fresh water or vice versa is 231 millimeters. 
Let us take a look at the general particulars of the ship, this can also be found in the stability manual. The ship has a summer load draft of 10.200 meters, which means that if she is floating in salt water, and the water line is on the top edge of the S load line mark, her draft is 10.200 meters. By adding 231 millimeters or 0.231 meter to her summer draft, her final draft when she arrives in freshwater is 10.431 meters. We add fresh water allowance from the initial draft since the effect when sailing from salt water to fresh water is an increase in the ship's draft. On the other hand, when sailing from freshwater to salt water, the freshwater allowance should be subtracted from the initial draft to find the arrival draft. Let us go to the ship's hydrostatic table, which can also be found in the stability manual. As stated in the general particulars, the ship's summer load draft is 10.200 meters. The corresponding summer displacement is 32,490 tons, and the TPC in salt water is 35.17 tons. This value was developed when the ship was floating on an even keel. If your ship is on trim, then select the appropriate table based on the ship's present trim condition. Let us use this formula to calculate the fresh water allowance. The summer displacement is 32,490 tons, divided by 4, times the TPC in salt water which is 35.17 tons. The freshwater allowance is 230.95 mm or 231 mm. So we got the same freshwater allowance value as stated in the stability manual. If this problem is given in the examination, and no stability booklet is provided, then the summer displacement and TPC should be given to calculate the freshwater allowance using the first method. Let us proceed to dock water allowance. Dock water allowance is defined as the number of millimeters in which the ship's mean draft changes when she sails from salt water to dock water, or when sailing from dock water to salt water when she is loaded to its summer displacement. This is the formula to find the dock water allowance. Where DWA is the dock water allowance in millimeters, FWA is the freshwater allowance, departure RD is the departure relative density, Arrival RD is the arrival relative density, and 0.025 is a constant value. 0.025 is the difference in the relative density of salt water and fresh water. This is the formula if you are using density in kilograms per cubic meter as your departure and arrival density. The value of your divisor should be 25. This value is the difference of salt water and fresh water density in kilograms per cubic meter. Let us solve this problem. Calculate the change in the ship's mean draft and arrival draft if she departs from salt water with a summer draft of 11.400 meters and proceeds to a berth where the relative density of dock water is 1.011. The ship's fresh water allowance is 242 millimeters. So dock water allowance is equal to fresh water allowance which is 242 millimeters times the departure relative density which is 1.025 minus the arrival relative density which is 1.011 divided by 0.025. We have 242 millimeters times 0.56. The dock water allowance is 135.52 mm, or 0.136 meter. To convert into meters, divide 135.52 mm by 1000, since 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm. Sailing from salt water to dock water, or from water of higher density to lower density, a sinkage occurs, resulting in an increase in the ship's mean draft. A dock water allowance of 135.52 mm will be an increase in the ship's mean draft. By adding the dock water allowance which is 135.52 mm or 0.136 m to the initial draft, the ship's arrival draft is 11.536 m. Let us have another problem. The ship departs from a berth where the dock water relative density is 1.008, 
and she proceeds to another berth where the dock water relative density is 1.019. Her departure mean draft is 10.740 meters, and the freshwater allowance is 248 millimeters. Calculate the dock water allowance and arrival draft. First, calculate the change in draft or dock water allowance. So we have 248 millimeters times 1.008 minus 1.019 divided by 0 0.025. Subtracting the arrival relative density from the departure dock water relative density will have a negative value. To have a positive value, we will subtract lesser from greater. We have now 248 millimeters times 0 0.44. The change in draft when sailing from dock water to another dock water with different water densities is 109.12 mm or 0.109 meter. Since she sails from water of lower density to a higher density, the ship will rise, resulting in a decrease in her mean draft. By subtracting the dock water allowance from the departure draft, her final draft is 10.631 meters. That's all for now guys. Thank you for watching, bye.